Yeah, 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 guys. Like the video, subscribe. Breaking news, by the way. Lusik, Lusik. Coming. For Ruiz, OJ. My nigga put two on his brain Really took losses, nothing the same Making the beat what I can't attain No cap, I had to fuck up a check On the K-Log, drive a verse out of debt Put up a bag of the Well, 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 guys So, like I've stated before If you're new to the channel, click the like And subscribe right now, man So, all is in the Usyk <laughs> He's coming for Andrew Ruiz Jr. Or oh, Anthony Joshua next year, bro He has been set down has mandatory for Ruiz and Joshua Winamer. This is big news, man. This is big news. This is big news and a very interesting news because Usyk can become a unified everweight champion next year. <laughs> Man, man, man. Lucic is a guy. Let, let, wait, let's. Let's look at his record, man. Let's take a look at, look at his record. Well, he has 16 wins. 16 fights, 16 wins. 12, he had knockouts. You might look at this and say, hmm, this is a very, the, the guy is not good. I mean, you look at it really like this. A lot of Kadra fans don't really know who he is. But this guy, this guy is a, dan a danger. A retreat to all heavyweights. All heavyweights top down right now, man. Especially guys like Joshua Fury and Deontay Water. In fact, Ruiz Jr., I don't consider him a dangerous heavyweight. Ruiz Jr. is a regular heavyweight who got lucky with one punch against Joshua because Joshua we know wasn't himself. He got concussed and sparring, you know, by uh, Joey Daweko. We know that already, right? But this guy right here, Usyk, is a monster. Monster. I'm not a guy who usually want to praise or hype people up but this guy right here is a complete fighter but he's a former cruiserweight undisputed champion and see yet to have a fight as an everweight he has only one disadvantage that is him to look a little bit too small like it's a, it's a small heavyweight because when you're fighting guys like fury like fury my opinion will be able to beat Usyk if he stays on the outside especially if Fury is a, is a slick boxer where Usyk is a slick boxer Usyk is not the the most powerful guy in the world but his boxing skills is scary if you've watched him fight then you would know this guy's a retreat or every issue. But I don't I don't believe that it can dominate every issue for a long time because of the jams we have right now. We have guys like Akbejori. Rafael Akbejori. People don't know who he is right now. They're saying, well, he's a guy who just put bombs. Listen, don't underestimate Akbejori because he's a six head guy with an underrated Boston skills. We have a Jagba. Can a Jagba beat Usyk? He can beat him. We have um, Apochi. Apochi have been calling out Usyk for a very long time. Usyk has not responded. I don't know if uh, Apochi is a 
manager um, or um, promoter Ahimel and Chalifinko will allow uh, Pochito to fight with a guy like Usyk. But they might take the risk if Usyk really wants it. But Usyk, I think, will be too much uh, for Pochi. Not in terms of power, but in terms of his movement and slick boxing skills, man. It's just... This guy, I'm not just saying it for the same sake, but I'm telling you right now that this guy is a deadly, deadly Ukrainian monster. He's a slick boxer. And people are just complaining that he's been mandated to fight the Joshua Ruiz winner. They're saying why don't they know why? Because this guy defeated the top dogs in a cruiserweight division, became an undisputed cruiserweight king, and then has moved to everywhere. So, in, in, in if you look at the, the WBO rules and regulations, you will see that if you're a super champion in a lower division and you move up, you become uh, the mandatory automatically, especially if you're undisputed. If you're undisputed, WBO, I'm not a huge favorite. I'm not. I'm not a guy who who likes to rate them too high. But they are better than WBC. The WBC are the worst boxing organization in the world right now. Mauricio Suleiman has completely destroyed his father's legacy, man. The WBC, in my eye right now, is just a fake and money hungry bet. A belt that has no wealth. Oh, that, listen, it's just the dad. The, my Suleiman's dad is the reason why that belt is relevant right now, man. And that belt is now a piece of trash. BBC is where you get the re stuff, man. How you speak out of these, man. I don't, I don't have any ties to all these guys. The only emotional tie that I have to some certain fathers are those of Nigerian decents. Nigerian decents, yeah, because I'm I'm a Nigerian, so I have to support my own. That's for sure. Because none of the Nigerian bosses get any shine, except when they become or when they are used to unless 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 when they become a used to they don't get shy like that Ajakba who knew Ajakba words before I came before I started happening him up none of you guys knew words who knows who Apoji words before I started happening him up none of you guys knew and I pleasure right now you guys don't really know him but it's gonna come up and it's gonna do wonders I'm not there what I meant the Godzilla. Yeah, he lost his US debut, but it's gonna come back. Because the 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 the, the, the US atmosphere got to him. Like I'm not there what I meant. You know, he's a guy who 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 was who was been fight, who fought all his life um outside the US. Now fighting the US when he fought in the US against Rodney Nadas, like the occasion got to him. You know what I mean? The occasion got to him. Just like the occasion got to Joshua. But Joshua is going to redeem himself. This guy right here, if Joshua defeats Andrew Jr., okay, he's going to have to go in with, uh, against uh, Olazar Usyk. He's now the mandatory. Officially now, man. Official. He's official now. He's officially the mandatory uh, challenger for that WBO belt. So, which means. We might not get a CD on this period. Even if Joshua beats uh, Ruiz Jr., he cannot fight Warrenist. He's going to have to fight Resident Usyk. In listen, Ahema's plan. The plan that he had, the chess game that is that that he that he wanted to play. Is not going so well right now. Man. Listen, Usyk is a matron fighter. Has a co promotional deal with you know matron Boston. You know what I mean? So that should tell you something, man. But I don't like the boxing politics that people are playing. You know, 
in boxing because I know all about boxing politics. Ahimon is the godfather of boxing politics. He is the one not making the fights happen because he's selfish. He doesn't want to allow his fathers, his tough fathers, go. He doesn't like to allow his tough fathers go to other network to fight. He allowed Andrews Jr. because he thought Andrews Jr. wasn't gonna win. Andrews Jr. is not Deontay Water, but now Andrews Jr. is something is someone important right now. But for how long? Because Usyk beats Andrews Jr. all day, every day. Usyk, I don't think beats Joshua, but to give Joshua a problem, and might possibly do the job if Joshua don't don't really. Uh, change some things. Joshua, it's time for him to either add or another trainer to his team, a trainer like Freddie Roach. Maybe just had some a legend like George Former, Anthony Taver, Roy Jones Jr. Listen, in fact, add him to your team just to get more knowledge about boxing. Because all those guys, they all have different styles. So if you learn from this, you learn from this, you learn from this, couple it together, then you get, you become perfect or near or close to perfect. Or close to being perfect, man. So, and in Joshua, this is time for him. This is the time for him to really, really go in now, right now, man. No joke from now on because Final Hussein is not a joke. It is a do or die stuff. Before we thought, yeah, Joshua would beat uh, Usyk easy, uh, keep him at bay, but we've, we've not seen that. Listen, Joshua is not good on a defensive you know he's got to be you know taught how to defend and fight at the same time some people defend and fight and like I'm familiar with it so this will be a very interesting fight Usyk should be smiling right now man can you believe Usyk if he becomes the unified everywhere king of the universe after being on the Spirit and Cruiserweight division, or uh, that would be a dream country. But I think if Ruiz Jr. defeats uh, Anthony Joshua in the rematch, which I don't see, I don't see happening. But if he does miraculously defeat him for the second time, he will vacate the WWE or bet because he does, he's not going to go in against uh, Usyk. He knows Usyk beat him all day. Usyk would just talk with Ruiz Jr. He would talk with him. Go to distance and win about. Usyk is a predominant father, man. I'm not. I listen, I'm not telling you just for, because I'm hyping this guy up. I'm just telling you because this guy is a real threat. The only people that can beat him are giants. Joshua can beat him. Water, I don't know if Water can beat him because Water has no 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 skills, but Water has that equalizer, which is the power. So Usyk is in a very good position right now, man. I cannot wait. The MMA division is getting very excited right now. I cannot wait. My only hope is that the Unified Way King of the Universe and the Joshua is ready. I hope he's ready for all these challenges because they're coming. There will be no time to fight bombs. But if Joshua defeats. Usyk, I would like to see him fight a bomb before he goes in. Uh, defeats, uh, sorry, Ruiz Jr., not Usyk. I would like to see him fight bombs before he goes in against Usyk. And if he defeats Usyk, then fight some bombs, three, four bombs. Learn on your craft. Because at the elite level, you don't play boxing. At the elite level, you've got to be perfect or close to being perfect, man. And this guy we'll see right here is a perfect fighter. He's not gonna be Joshua against Klitschko, no. But it's gonna be something, you know, a fight to be to 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 be reckoned with. A fight that every boxing fan will have to watch. That's just it, man. Give it to us below. Are you guys happy that Usyk is now? The mandatory, okay, challenger for the winner of Joshua and Ruiz rematch. Are oh, you guys not happy? Because a lot of you guys who are Americans will not be happy because you guys want to want the the belt to remain America. You want 
a disputed a disputed fight which i also want but i don't see it happening for now because what listen the undisputed fight should be should have happened already water and his docking tactics sport it destroyed it that's why they should right now is where he's because of water water made things disastrous instead of giving us the fight want to see he started playing politics and demanding very close some amount of money man water is nothing but an idiot and i hate man the same as well man that's just it listen i have no no emotional ties to all those guys especially to the bad guys because the bad guys of boxing are the ones that don't want to they don't want us to see the fights so and i'm not encouraging you guys to insult a uh, hammer or something like that but i as a boxing reporter as a sports analyst i have the right to say the truth and as an unbiased one as well yeah i'm a little bit biased towards nigerian fathers because they get no china until they become huge that's why even nobody support them they actually support them or oh, african fathers you know I me mean? so you are just below guys like the video and uh subscribe 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 go subscribe to my personal youtube channel i might leave the link down below go subscribe to that channel man i want to leave that channel i want to do some stuff some other stuff as well not just about Boston. i want to cover every subject you know stay blessed guys and go follow me on instagram at boxing block center follow me on twitter at boxing block and on facebook at boxing block center guys stay blessed stay on ball stay on with cheers tell me love me show me the niggas be here for no reason i saw my neck it be freezing count this miami cheese and i ain't gonna lie i be pulling the foes got me some money but i want some more all in my bag i'm never gonna fold i gotta stay down for all of my bros yeah. Ride for my niggas, I die for my niggas And when it come to it, I stop for my niggas For nothing above when we came from the gutter Wolves and noodles, we came from the struggle Pull out the chop of these niggas and pastors Real street nigga, I'm preaching the gospel Know that they mad that they couldn't stop us Move like a unit compares to mobsters Ride for my niggas, I die for my niggas And when it come to it, I stop for my niggas For nothing above when we came from the gutter Wolves and noodles, we came from the struggle Pull out the chop of these niggas and pastors Real street nigga, I'm preaching the gospel